So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video was recorded during the early access period for the Labrador Retriever DLC, so a huge thank you to EW for allowing me to take part in this early access. Now in this video we are going to be taking our first look at what the Labrador Retriever is like in game. Now I actually haven't had much time with this early access as we only just got access to it. So I've just spent a couple of hours just taking this dog out for a couple of small hunts just to see how it performs. And so far it's been pretty good. There have been a couple of small things I've encountered like the dog just being just slightly by a couple of meters out of range of birds and then it just ignores them which is kind of annoying. And I have also seen some reports of some bugs that people have been having with the DLC, with the dog glitching out and stuff. So that's unfortunate to hear, but overall it's been pretty stable and things have been pretty good so far. And this was the very first retrieve that I sent this brand new Labrador on, and as you can see it went nice and smoothly. Now for this second retrieve, we are actually going to send the retriever here into some water. Now I've called my retriever Artemis after the goddess of the hunt, so I will refer to her as Artemis from now on. So we're going to send Artemis here into the water and as you can see, these dogs are capable of swimming. This is something that we saw on the live stream reveal with Jaxi Beard and it is a really cool feature of the dogs. The fact that they can actually swim to go and retrieve animals in the water is really, really good. And when I say animals, I do mean any class 1 animal. That is all that the retrievers can retrieve, any of the class 1 species. So things like ducks, turkeys, rabbits, geese, those are what these can retrieve. They can't retrieve class 2s, 3s, 4s or anything above that and that's something I've seen a lot of people asking. You are going to be looking just at the small game as animals that this dog can retrieve, only those class 1 species. Now something else that I noticed while actually sending Artemis out to retrieve this duck is there were some coming down and landing fairly close. However, when she got to like almost on top of them, they would actually spook. So you do need to be careful about that and just make sure that when you send the dog out that there's nothing in the way that you don't want spooked. Now this is something that I saw on my SRP a few days ago and I've been saving for this early access. It's a level 3 turkey and I actually spotted it out here while I was doing a little bit of casual black bear grinding and so I decided to just keep an eye on it here and when the dogs came out see if the dog would be able to retrieve it. And as you can see Artemis is bringing this turkey tom to us which is really cool to actually see that they can retrieve something as big as a turkey and and, you know, obviously turkeys, they are a class 1 species, but they are a very large class 1 species. So I wasn't sure if they would actually be able to retrieve them, but as you can see, she quite clearly can. So that was really awesome to see. And basically, I was just excited to see if we could get a diamond from the dog retrieving, and we actually have. We have a diamond turkey at 4.67, so a smaller level 3 but still a diamond and still the first diamond that I've actually had the dog retrieve. So that was really cool and that was what I was really hoping for so I'm really pleased about that. The animation still looked pretty smooth considering she was carrying such a large class one. So I'm really pleased to see that because it means that those animations are going to stay nice and smooth even if they are carrying really large class one animals. Now moving back to Revontuli Coast and as you can see we just shot a male Capacaylee and we are going to send Artemis off to retrieve that. Now you'll notice that I've had to move quite a bit closer to the bird once I've actually shot it than the distance I actually shot it at and that is because the, the range for the retrievers is quite limited and that's something I noticed quite quickly is that even if you can see the bird and it's not all too far off they do only have a range it seems to be somewhere just about under 100 meters and then they won't be able to actually go and find the harvest even if it only is a couple of meters from them and that was something that in the beginning I thought was maybe a bug but it does just seem to actually be that they have quite a limited retrieval range especially when you first get them I do believe that the retrieval range can be increased by you know working with your dog leveling it up then going through the traits and actually selecting traits to allow for that but in the beginning, just do be aware that the range does seem to be quite limited. Like I said, 
said, in my experience in just a couple of hours, it does seem to be somewhere between like 90 and 100 meters. Don't quote me on that though, because we weren't given any sort of official statistics with this DLC for the early access. This is just what I have seemed to notice in just a couple of hours of playtime. And I really wanted to try and get a video out today, which, you know, it's, it's difficult when we've only just got access to the DLC, but I just wanted to give a sort of first impressions and a first idea of what these these awesome retrievers are going to be like and i do really like the retrievers from what i've seen so far the time i've spent with this dlc so far even though as i just said it, it, it has been a really limited amount of time i have enjoyed having the dog with me but in terms of usefulness I don't know exactly how useful this is going to be for the vast majority of players, especially with the limited retrieval range. I feel like at that point where you're already running towards the harvest to go and then get the retriever to go and get it to be within that retrieval range, I feel like you would just go and pick it up yourself for the most part. Obviously, it's nice to have the option of, of having the retriever, especially if you are sat in a, in a blind or something hunting ducks. But I do just feel like it's not going to be something that is necessary to have. It will be something that is maybe nice to have, but not something that you're going to definitely need. It's not going to be one of those DLCs that you absolutely have to buy, in my opinion. I do think the, the usefulness of it is going to be limited. Now, something really nice about the Retrievers that I have to say Flinter actually pointed out for me is the fact that you can shoot multiple Class 1 animals, as you will have just seen, I have shot three female Capicale here, and I'm going to send the dog out once on a Retrieval, and you're going to see that the dog is going to bring back all three of these birds just off of the one retrieval command. So if you have multiple animals down within the retrieval range, you only have to give the dog one command and it will go and get all of those animals within range, which is really nice rather than having the dog come back, having to send it out on retrieves again and again and again. So if you've shot maybe five or six geese and they're all within that retrieval range, you just have to do the command once and the dog is going to go and get them one by one and bring them back to you. And like I said, if you're, you know, hunting over land and you're just in a blind, this is something that could be a really nice feature it's going to be less useful if you're hunting over water because obviously anything in water it is just going to float to you anyway so having the dog go and retrieve them isn't really necessary but for things that maybe land on an island out in the middle of the water and you don't want to spend the time running to go and get it you can send the dog the dog can then go and swim through the water and bring that bird back to you and if you've got multiple birds down then the dog will go and get all of them not just the one off of that one command so that's something really nice that's a really nice quality of life feature that i think they added to the dogs so i'm really really happy about that now once again we're going to send the dog out on a multiple retrieval just from the one command here we have three female black grouse that i've taken out with the 22 and we're going to have to move closer than what we are to get the dog to actually go and get them but once we get there then we'll send her out to go and get them and as you will see one command and she'll go and bring all three of those birds back which like i said really really nice and also Probably if you're in an area and you've shot multiple birds but you're not sure exactly where they've all gone down, you can then send the retriever out and if they're in range then it would be able to find them for you so I can see that being useful. And I like to do a lot of bird and small game hunting because I like a lot of the rares that small game have and they tend to be quite hard to find which is something I enjoy. So I can definitely see myself having a retriever just there just as a nice little extra rather than maybe the bloodhounds because it'd be something a little bit more useful for my particular style of hunting. Especially here on Revon Tuli where I love to go and hunt the the upland game birds so yeah i think this is a really nice little feature and it can also make for nice sort of trophy trophy pictures if you will of the birds all in one pile if you've shot multiple birds get the dog to bring them back and you can see put them all in a pile and then you could take a picture of them like that which i guess is kind of a nice thing too but as you can see three female black grouse all off of that one retrieve so really pleased about that
Now, once again, we're going to take a look at the dog retrieving a bigger class one species. We actually have some Canada geese out here, which we're just going to plink with the 22 and then we will send the dog to go and retrieve them. Now, you can see we're actually not that far away from these geese, but this is still outside of what the dog can actually go and retrieve currently for me. And at this point, I think she was level 10 for me. So, you know, even at this point, those birds are still too far away. And you're, you're going to see what happens here when you send the dog on a retrieve and the, the animal that you want it to retrieve is actually too far away. They will just run out in that direction, then turn around and come back. Now, I know that those geese were literally only a couple of metres away from her. And that is kind of frustrating. I wish that there was maybe a bit of flexibility there. That if the dog can see the harvest, then maybe it would still go and get it. But you can see I'm actually going to have to just run a little bit closer and then send the dog out again. And then she will actually be able to get and retrieve them for us. So I don't, I don't know. That's a little bit interesting. Like I said, I think that's frustrating because I did actually at one point shoot a couple of golden eye and I sent Artemis out. She went out and she was literally probably within less than a meter of the one golden eye and she turned around and came back without it. So I think that there maybe could be sort of a better detection range or something with the dogs so that you don't have to just constantly keep moving to be within range. But overall it's pretty pretty all right I would say. It's just maybe that there could have been a, a little bit of tweaking to how the dogs actually find things and retrieve them. It's quite static, I feel, in how they retrieve. It has to be within a specific range or they just won't be able to get it, even if it's literally only a metre further, which, like I said, it's, it feels very static. But they're still really nice to see working and those animations like i said they do look really good there's only one animation set that i think is kind of overdone and i didn't actually get to showcase it here in this video but it's when the dog goes through shallow water that's not deep enough for it to swim in they kind of jump and rather than just a couple of little jumps they'll jump sort of continuously and it looks really buggy and overdone and i think that maybe you know one or two sort of leaps through shallower water would have looked better and then just some running rather than constant jumping and it's kind of a hard thing to actually get to record but I think that when you have the dogs out, you'll probably be able to see for yourself in some of the shallower water. It kind of got shown on stream a little bit with the dog jumping around. It just looks a little bit strange. But overall, the animations seem to be really, really nice. You can see we have the dog here in the trophy lodge on the dog bed. And like I said, most of the animations seem to be really good. And overall, it seems to be pretty good. And like I said, I've only had a very, very limited time with the dog dlc so far i'm gonna spend some more time with it and if i find anything else interesting or you know relevant then i of course will make some more content on it but so far that is all i have to say it seems like it's going to be an interesting dlc like i said not something that is going to be an absolute necessity it's just something that will be nice to have at certain points i think it's going to have specific uses not going to be too extremely useful to the point that you definitely need one but if you have one then it could be a nice bonus that that's my opinion on it so far but that is going to be it for this video i'm sorry it's a bit of a shorter one but like i said we only just got access to this dlc today and i've just done my best to try and make this this smaller video on it and just get some content out to talk about the dogs and what i've seen so far but that is going to be it for this video so thank you so so much for watching and for all your support as always any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and i will do my best to answer them and if there's anything you know that you want to know about this dlc that i didn't cover in this video i will do my best to answer them the dog dlc for the labrador retrievers does release on the 28th so in just four days time as i'm making this video so not long to wait at all but as i said that is going to be it for this one so thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you